Namaste, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Indigo Angel. Thank you for your love and support of my channel. Don't forget to hit the notifications bell to continue to receive my messages and my updates. Now, today I have a very interesting video for you guys. I will be discussing the galactic portal that is being opened to the Laniakea super colossal cluster through the Polynesian Triangle. So I just wanted to thank everyone from the Diamond Suns Human Grail Line group as this has truly been a group realization um, and many people are being guided to this information at this time. So this is through the galactic infusion seedings from the metagalactic core into the spheres of Amenti and this is being birthed in the underwater realms of the volcanic ash of the Pacific Ocean. And all of the pre-existing planetary events that have been leading to this. So in my last energy update, we made connections to the Pacific Ocean, alluding to the probable volcanic trigger chain reaction events that may initiate from the Polynesian Triangle or what is called the Ring of Fire. As all volcanic activity resides along this ring, and what is said to be what is left over from the Lemurian continent. These planetary activations have been starting with the fire symptoms of the horizontal ley lines from the Australian intersecting angular ley lines and the inner earth Q sites all along the 15 to 25 degree south horizontal ley line, okay, running through Australia that runs through South Africa and also South America. So all the fires have been basically along that line, that region right now that have been amping up on the planet. But there's always a purpose for the upgrade in the planetary consciousness through the physical expression events where the shields have been being upgraded in spectrums of the lenses and dimensional perceivability. Okay, so we are basically expanding the pupil of Gaia as if we are on mushrooms, as if we are on DMT and we are receiving a greater vision. Sometimes the upgrades are catastrophic. Sometimes the upgrades are just for the consciousness expansion and evolution of the planetary intelligence. Sometimes they are just simply probabilities to the dynamic future events. So instead of catastrophic events, my focus today is going to be instead, instead anchoring in the new universal encoding to the greater colossal inheritance. That we may just be a very distant home race library at the end of the spectrum. And our constellations were the only thing that has kept us connected to our outstanding systems and home galaxies. Telling tales of star lineages and planetary homes that truly reside in our home superclusters. That we are like the planet that holds the mutation collection and fragments to the super greater kingdoms of galactic history founder races. Beyond the angelic ascendancy. Many of us having recently upgraded in nuclear gamma sporadic 24 to 48 strand DNA activations over the last couple of months, expanding cosmic perceivability into the next colossal systems. Okay, guys, so this is the tentacle like formation of our universe called Laniakea. So conveniently named by the University of Hawaii in the Pacific Ocean in the Polynesian Triangle. Laniakea, meaning immeasurable heaven. Consisting of the Milky Way galaxy and all greater creator supercluster homes within our local group. The true home creation formations nestle together to form a greater body. Putting the Milky Way in some serious perspective located down at the tip of a tentacle. So is it a tentacle? Is it a neuron inside of a brain? 
Or is it simply just trillions of galaxies merged together to create a beautiful streak up against the darkness of gravitrons and, and dark matter with no higher identity? Well, we know that isn't true, for the angelic ascendancy resides within the antimatter. For the angelic inheritance seems to be the substance of the galaxy itself, all life forms interconnected. The Brennu founder races being the antimatter waveform, the Anuhazi being the pre matter liquid light form. We may have to upgrade our DNA past the 48 strands to truly know it all intuitively, or become the first species to colonize space and work our way towards our magnetic attractions, such as the great attractor and larger super systems deeper inside the multi universal matrix. Okay, so several of these greater superclusters have already been discovered and named. And I'm going to give you the founder races, I think, that hold down the beehive. These names will reveal our higher estranged connections to the true home bases of our starseed origins. And I will put these at the end of the video. But we are no longer star seeds. We are galaxy seeds. We are supercluster seeds. We are the dandelion seed that floated to the tip of the tentacle called the Milky Way and implanted inside of her cosmic womb. For Earth herself is an egg and we just birthed into her reality. We, we are the extension of our super colossal galactic nature. We brought the fragments of our home galaxies and memories of our home galaxies we labeled into the stars to remind us of who we really are. We are out here at the tip of the Milky Way desert. We are the rarest and the most adventurous to travel so far, I'll tell you. This puts our existence in a colossal scale, multi-universal, multi-galactic, supercluster scale. Your starseed origins may not simply be the Hydra constellation and the planet that revolves there. Oh no, 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 no. You are from the Hydra supercluster and the constellation of Hydra came along to just not let you fully forget. You may in fact be a centaur birthed from the Centaurus supercluster. And why the Polynesian Triangle, right? Why, may, why this may be the true location of our seeding zone to our most alien extraterrestrial ancestor within our local group through the waters of the octopus. It is said that the eight arms of the octopus extend to the farthest reaches of the Polynesian Triangle, connecting Aotearoa, New Zealand, Hawaii, and Rapa Nui in one unified body instead of just being an abstract geometrical symbol. Samoan and Hawaiian cosmologies, seeing the octopus as the god of fishing and the sea, Kanaloa, the divine ancestor of priestly ancient navigators. Other Hawaiian creation stories describe the octopus as the alien leftovers from a previous galaxy, the lone survivor of a previous alien universe. It's interesting because if you look at Laniakea, it kind of resembles an octopus. Interesting, Hawaiians refuse to eat octopus and the Hawaiians uphold the tip or the most northern aspect to the Polynesian Triangle. The most northern representing the most knowing. Now, if you start to dive into the meaning of the octopus, they are said to be intelligent aliens, the only species left over from earlier incarnations of Earth, making them proto-terrestrials. They simply must be distant cousins of super colossal knowing. It is said we share the same ancestors as the octopus. They must simply be the distant cousins of super colossal knowing. They have 500 million neurons in each of their tentacles. Humans have 500 million neurons in their gut. Well, where does human intuition come from? 
It comes from the gut, and we psychically pass the vision from the gut to the third eye. Maybe the octopus passes telepathy from their tentacle to their brain, each tentacle having a mind of its own. I find more connectivity with the octopus to the Hydra supercluster as well. The Hydra supercluster nestled within the center of the Laniakea formation. So the octopus may be the representation of the origin of the Hydra supercluster in the Laniakea supercolossal cluster, making the Hydra supercluster the beehive of Laniakea. As the Pacific Ocean in the Ring of Fire may be the beehive of planet Earth, as it all so coherently sits perfectly in the middle. This galactic portal in the Polynesian Triangle to the Laniakea Cluster may have been something that has recently been progressively activating since about 2014. Alex Collier says, since 2014, Every galaxy has begun to synchronize itself, its spin, where it is located, how it spins, with every other galaxy in the local group. It is no longer random. They are communicating. They are awakening. And they are aware of their existence as a greater dynamic prime creator consciousness. All the way across the universe, beings can now see down through portal structures from 12th density. On Earth, galactic portals are leading to the super colossal systems, and the galactic human history as we know it may become an infinite speck in the ocean of everything of the simultaneous past, the ocean of the Pacific, with our alien octopus ancestors. Did you know that there is Polynesian creation literature that has never been seen? Everything from this culture, as far as their tablets, their creation stories, everything has been destroyed. There is supposedly only one clay tablet, and I bet you can guess where that is. The Vatican. Okay, so we'll never know, unless we're going to storm the Vatican. We are told our ancestors come from Africa. We are told our ancestors come from Australia, North Africa, New Guinea. Or maybe we were birthed from the Pacific Islands, from the Ring of Fire, from the Earth's face, from the Earth's vagina, okay? Is the Pacific Ocean the Earth's vagina? Is this where she births all existences, all realities, all DNA? Okay, so the main founder super galaxy homes. Now, surely you would think this would consist of all six major star seed nations, and maybe it does. But after looking into these systems, there are galaxy homes that you may not have expected, okay? This mostly correlates to star seed consciousness, star seed origins that are outside of these six major founder nations, okay? So I'm going to list here for you guys all of the star major star seed nations that have been labeled in the laniakea cluster up until this point these may be the true founder nations okay so i just want you guys to go ahead and take a look at these founder nations here and i'll go ahead and list the also the angelic ascendancy in accordance to that as well and also the six major founder nations so you can um, look at this um, with your own greater intuition, your own greater knowing. Let me know what you think about this, guys. Go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comments. And I just wanted to get this out because this has been on my mind, my heart for the last couple of weeks. And I feel that these connections are substantial. There's a lot that we need to take note of here. So I hope you enjoyed this today. Namaste. And I will be back with another video.